We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is from Bravado Spice Company, it is the Akamisa Ghost Reaper Hot Sauce. And we have five flames, five burning brightly. And nutritional information, calories are probably from the sesame oil. We've got Undeniably Bold. I'd say that's fair. Another Unami bomb. This is this is much 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 more forceful Unami though than I would say was the uh, black garlic reaper, which also is fairly heavy on the Unami side. So in the ingredients we have Ghost pepper Carolina reaper rice wine vinegar probably my favorite type of vinegar Akamiso tamari sesame oil togarishi and salt and those, aside from the salt, those last four ingredients I just mentioned, the Akamisa, Tamari, Sesame Oil, and Togarishi are just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous things. And I will say this, the uh, Sesame Oil is something I always keep on hand. And the Togarishi, I miss, I really miss the Sashimi Togarishi sauce uh, from Private Selection. I mentioned this in the written review, available down in the description below as well. But uh, I'm... I'm ate a lot of that sauce and I really really wish private selection would have kept it so one thing that's kind of interesting to me is that most if not all of the bravado sauces I've had do this they tend to collect on the neck I don't know what it is about them that does this I find it kind of fascinating but it always it always likes to collect so this is one again mentioned the review you need to agitate this as much as possible uh, if you don't You'll get some, you can get different, very, very different aspects of the sauce. Almost a different sauce, I would say. And I would suspect a lot of that has to do with the um, sesame oil inclusion. But uh, you can see it's a, it's a fairly smooth sauce. And it is, it is punchy. It looks, so we have sort of a, you can see, Actually, I don't know if you can see it on the sheen or not, but the oil is starting to... Actually, you can see. There it is. The oil is starting to separate from the actual other liquids. Oh, sesame oil, how we love you, how I love you, how I love you. Right, so... And you can see, there it is, on the, the spoon that doesn't like things to be stuck to. So one thing about these plastic spoons is a lot of people don't like to use the plastic spoons because they think it changes the taste. I don't find that to be the case. I like it for the color contrast, and you can see here the different levels. But you can definitely see the clear delineation also where the sesame oil was. And one thing about this plastic is that oils interact with the plastic. They tend to stain it, which means that there's a chemical reaction of some sort going on between any of the petroleum stuff and this plastic. So in this case, it's a sesame oil. But uh, I'll give you a clearer picture of this you can see where it's pulling off it's, it's staining yellow now oftentimes what i'll see is that, that that's the um certain sauces in particular will tend to stain the spoon red i've, I've shown that on camera when that happens we'll find out about this one but uh, anyway so it's this very sort of i think it's mid-brown sort of color it's got a very very tingy bit of uh, redness to it as well but uh smells smells Oh, smells of super hot. <laughs> Mostly super hot. But uh, okay, let's get into it and see what is what. Wow. Wow. And what is what is this is a very, very, very punchy sauce. 
we're out of the gate. And then we're getting little bits of the akamiso, a little bit of tamari, which is essentially a soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, but look, see in the spoon. The togarishi is kind of a specific spice. I'm getting, I'm getting hints of that. I think it's a little too far down to be especially prominent. But this is nice. I, it, it's, it's punchy. It is a punchy sauce. Certainly it uh, has no, uh, has no issue being very upfront with the uh, super hot nature of the rapers and the ghost. So what I've decided today is, well, I use this a lot, but it's good to have a consistency. So this struck me as a ramen sauce. I mentioned that in the written review as well. So we're gonna go with just these old standby, this yakisoba from Marichan. And usual thing, cook for four minutes, let it sit for five. And just see what, uh, see how, well, I know how it is. I mean, you can see I've used some. <laughs> I like this on ramen. This is a good ramen sauce. It is, if, if you don't agitate it really well, you'll get a lot of the perfumey sort of nature of the, the super hots. Ghost has that to a smaller degree than does the Reaper, but if you don't, uh, if, you're not, if you don't exercise some caution, yeah, you're, uh, you are going to be finding, finding that to be a prevalent element. To me, I find that distracting. I don't, I don't especially love that. So, all right. So, all right, and we're just gonna put, well, let's see, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You know what? I was gonna try to count the drops, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna. All right. So here's what we're looking like prior to starting. And I'm not. I gotta be a little judicious about how much of this I put on here, simply because. This can really overpower the ramen, and I don't find that enjoyable when it does. So, anyway, we're gonna zoom this thing off to the microwave for four minutes, let it sit for five, and we'll be right back. Okay, moment of truth, let's see what we have here. Well, look at that. Somebody snuck a pork chop in there. Who did that? I did that. So I did a little grilling. One of the things that they say to put this on is uh, grilled meats on the website. And I thought, you know, I did some real nice pork chops on the grill. I like to have, you know, with ramen, I like to put boiled eggs in the ramen. I, I'm doing that a lot more these days. But I also like to have pork. Usually it's chow su. This one obviously is not. Just a little pork chop. No. Mm. 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 I want more salt and pork. The ramen is not adding a lot of flavor to the pork. However. So, we came here to test this sauce, and by golly, we're doing it by again, by golly. Let's throw, I don't want to get too crazy with this. I'm really nervous about the ratio. Ooh, there was a good perfume you hit. Holy moly. Blah. I don't know how this is going to do on chicken wings. I'm nervous. I didn't shake it up enough. Oh, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to learn that lesson, but it's a perfumey, super hot, bitter flavor.
That's not enjoyable. Wow. Uh, well, you know, I also thought the same thing about, hopefully we get the ratio better here, but I also thought that same thing about the ghost berry, uh, ghost blueberry from Bravado, and that actually is really good on wings, so who knows, I might be surprised. The Black Garlic Reaper, I like that sauce a lot. Did not like it on wings. It's pretty, that application is pretty interesting. I don't have any no crutches. What you get, what you get. You know, I should do. I should throw some of this in here. Uh, with the noodles. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. This is. Oh, an excellent pork chop. Nicely caramelized. What I want out of my real pork chops. All right. So we got some small chunks in here. Obviously, this is a lot less tender than is the uh, chasu, but. It's also a lot less fatty. That's another reason I love cooking on a grill. I render all that fat right out of there. Well, so this is a good indicator indicator of what I was saying. It's working really, really, really well in this ramen. Usually I'll gussy up my ramen with at the restaurants, you know, if I ever get back to one again, with sesame oil, chashu, that, uh, those, those hard-boiled eggs, like I was saying. But here we have so one of the reasons I like using this yakisoba so well. A soup ice by itself is bad. There's nothing, nothing good about that. But in conjunction with a hot sauce, especially that togarishi, the stuff gets you have something that Approach is solid. I like the texture of these noodles. They have a good amount of bite to them. They don't sog out. Some noodles you let them sit too long and they're going to sog right out. Not these. Some sauces are not pleasant to wear. This one is not. It's it's actually stinging my lips quite a bit right now. More so than anything else. I got the ratio almost like right on though. And it does, it, it's, ramen is the first thing it mentions on their website. And it is very, very well geared for ramen. Woo. Good old super hot. All right, so put that to bed. All right, 
so I mentioned this is probably my favorite from Bravado. It's not necessarily saying a lot because a lot of their stuff I was not really a fan of that I've tried. You can look through table of contents on the old blog and look through to see which ones I've done. I did like the black garlic. I think that was more flexible and this one is less flexible. And I think that's really kind of why I like this one better, but the other one is a higher rating. It just, it, it was the first sauce that kind of blew me away from bravado. But that only, I mean, how many times can you be blown away for the first time, right? So, so this one coming after, I think, well, it's a really good sauce. I didn't see coming. I didn't really expect it. I actually got this as an afterthought. But it, it is, like I said, a really, really quite good sauce. But I'd already kind of been made aware, I guess, of the wild. A bravado with the black reaper garlic which is of neither one of these I was really super interested in doing I actually picked them up I saw them on sale <laughs> I picked them up for coverage and they turned out to be two of the better sauces in the hot ones for me so far as far as how I'm going with this which I think is really really fascinating and but it just goes to show you with hot sauce especially you never know and, and you know in a lot of ways life itself is like that but there it is the Bravado Akamiso Ghost Reaper Hot Sauce. Now go forth in peace to serve the flame.